said he was reading some things. How do you guys view what you're talking about? Well, you know, play action pass and stuff is, is a big part of our offense, and we've got to be able to execute it when, when we throw them and stuff. And I was proud of the way we caught the ball, and he threw the ball well, and mine did a good job protecting. So, you know, it, it, it makes it makes sense that if you can do that, with people having a crowd, that, you know, and their safety's coming down so hard to stop the passing game, it makes sense that they'll be able to throw the ball like that. With uh, Jacobs, that's two touchdowns today, and the, the past few games, the tight ends have seemed to be – Getting better into the offense. How do you like that process so far? Well, I think it's you know part of having a, an overall football team and you know not being one dimensional and you know now it, it, it puts a little bit more pressure on on a off, on a defense to sit there and have to defend a tight end and stuff. I was glad the quarterback made the right read and got the ball to him. How do you feel about the defense format not allowing any touchdowns there? Well, you know it's it's the next step. They did well. I mean I, so I told them in there. You know we did well, but you know we we can do better and you know we're gonna have to play better against. A, a real fine attack to see the team. You know, they've got a quarterback that's that's really he's a focal point of their team, and we're going to have to do a great job of tackling and a great job of keeping him from from making big plays against us. And he made a lot of them against Dickinson, so you know it's it's going to be a big challenge for them next week too. When will we know when you play uh, Tascosita? When and where? Friday at seven o'clock here. Friday seven o'clock here at Energy Stadium. Right. Okay. How's Gavin Bush? I don't know. That's something we'll have to wait and see. We're going to evaluate when we get back. Uh, you know, I'm hoping, you know, it's like he's hoping to you know, come back. I think it, it scared him as much as anything else and stuff. But I know that the, those things are really, really, like I said, we've had, him, had our kids go down with them. And we, we need him in a football game if we can get him in there. Santee Parker's a good football yeah. player, but, you know, Gavin's got a little bit more experience in that field too. Is it hard to beat when you're facing a team the third straight year in the area? Play? Does it get harder the more you see them? Because they well, know each other. In, in some ways, in some ways, no. You play teams every week, and every year in districts, and you play them over and over and over again. That's just, you know, that's that's part of it. You play the good football teams and stuff. It's, it's never easy playing a good football team and, and things. So, but uh, no, it's not. It's not anything different. Is Josh DeAndre any any real concerns with the ball security issues? No. Uh, just the first time all this year, we've really had any issues with it, and I'm not going to sit there and. And blow it up. And I think they know both of them that they have to take care of the ball and, and do a better job taking care of the ball. And we'll look at it and find out, try to find out what we've done wrong. But, but uh, no, I'm not going to sit there and say it's an issue. We, we you know, we're going to have to correct the problem, but it's not an issue. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Good luck next Go week. Ahead.